Destiny by Mike Schwarm. I chose Destiny to talk about in our DMP3 because I felt a close connection with Destiny and myself, especially the part about having a balanced life in order to fulfill your true destiny. Being balanced in life doesn't mean being only good at one thing. In order to fulfill your true destiny, you must spread that talent amongst every little aspect in your life. This first example is from a man without a story. It shows how being good at only one thing in your life can lead to being unbalanced, not fulfilling your true destiny that you're put here to fulfill. The next example is with the big three down in Miami. They had to all sacrifice a part of their game to become a balanced unit in order for them to win the championship. If they didn't, they would have become unbalanced and selfish, like this picture shows how LeBron James is being a ball hog and not sharing the ball. If they were to do this, they would not have been able to fill, fulfill their destiny in winning the championships. This example is a personal example. I tried to keep a balanced life, and by doing this, I represented each facet of my life within this picture. The big picture is of an art piece that I drew of Mike Trout. Down to the left is a picture of the saxophone, and to the right is a picture of the piano, which I both play. And then in the middle, which is baseball. Now many people can say baseball has probably gotten unbalanced for me, but what they don't know is I do the rest of the three things in order to keep a balanced and level life so I'm able to fulfill whatever my destiny is in the future. This next example is from a horse of power. Shows how many people have one or two strong characteristics, but in order to live the most balanced life and fulfill the best of their destiny, they need to develop the third characteristic. Well, in the horse of power, the horse helps develop the king's third characteristic by getting over the fear of fire. He helps him get over the fear of his fire and helps him develop his characteristics so he can go and move onward to fulfill his destiny. This next example is from the movie Divergent. The squirrel we see right here, at first, is very timid, shy, and not daring. However, throughout the movie, with help from her friends, she develops a new characteristic in being daring. As we can see, these two pictures are the first time she's able to trust herself and jump off and face her fear of heights. My junior year in high school, I sprained my elbow. After spraining my elbow, I lost a characteristic as a pitcher lost the ability to attack the strike zone and be aggressive. However, through bullpens and more reps and help from my coaches and teammates, I was able to build this characteristic back up. This characteristic has helped me become a better balanced baseball player to help fulfill my destiny, which for now is becoming the best baseball player I can possibly be. Now, being able to live a balanced life and have balanced characteristics is one thing. But you have to use those when you come to the point in your life where you have to make a decision of your destiny. For me, this example shows how I'm going to have to make a decision between playing baseball, being an accountant, or going back to school as my destiny. But by building up a balanced life and living with balanced characteristics, when this time comes, I'm able to choose what the best fit for my destiny is to be. Many people will always come to this crossroads where they have three decisions in order to fulfill their true destiny. But, like the story of Merchant of Venice that Shakespeare wrote, there's three types of choices that you will probably have to make. These choices are represented by the three caskets. These caskets are lead, silver, and gold. The lead casket is descriptive of the true destiny choice that you should make. The silver is the one that's a little bit more tempting but isn't the correct choice. And the third one, which is the gold, provides the most tempting choice and the one that you may see and think that is the right choice, but in reality isn't. Like the famous quote says, all that glitters isn't gold. And what we have to do in order to fulfill our true destiny is rely on our balanced characteristics and balanced lifestyle in order to pick the true casket in which we can fulfill our destiny the best.